Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I am ready to do my full review on this sheath. <laughs> um, this time it's not about the knife in the sheath, although we'll talk about the knife a little bit inherently because it's what goes into this sheath. Um, this knife I've already fully reviewed. The knife is the Giant Mouse GMF1F, and uh, this one is the M390 version that dropped uh, really just, I uh, guess it was a couple months ago now, and uh, I bought directly from Giant Mouse when they dropped, and I like this knife. You can watch my full review on it if you'd like to. In that full review, um, you'll see that the knife is wearing these Oak City leather scales, and it's also in an Oak City leather sheath. Not this sheath, however. This is a different Oak City leather sheath. And recently, um, Oak City Leather sent this to me so that I could check it out and review it. Um, when I got the Giant Mouse GMF1F, um, I ordered from him <laughs> the sheath and scales that I reviewed it in. Uh, the sheath that I had it in was a horizontal carry um, belt sheath, if you want to call it that, and I like that sheath a lot. I got nothing but good things to say about the way that knife or the way this knife carries in that sheath and how nice it is and how good it looks it is the same green leather as you find on the scales here and it's finished super well it works super well i love that sheath it was great and the scales are great too i still have that sheath it still is great but um after reviewing it like i said they reached out to me and uh he was like do you want to try out one of these just to see how you like it? A different style of sheath and then review it and show the people, if you will. And I said, absolutely. So he sent me this and with it, he actually sent a matching wallet and like a little token thing made of leather, which is kind of cool. You can see all that in the unboxing if you want. But uh, we're going to talk about the sheath today because this is a different style sheath Definitely for me. This is not something that I would have picked for myself, but I was curious about and wanted to try. And uh, it's super well made. <laughs> it's really nice. And I have found that I kind of like it quite a bit. So yeah, let's dive into it. First and foremost, let's take a kind of closer look at it. You'll see there's this kind of center layer of green leather that matches the scales. We've got green stitching. It's stamped with his logo. The clip is very nice. We've got this brass kind of rivet which matches the hardware. The whole thing is smooth and finished well. It's like not quite matte, not, not quite glossy, very nice leather. It's, it feels supple, if you will. I like the way this sheath is put together. So in terms of like looking at it for its craftsmanship really really good <laughs> very well done i'm not an expert on leather products but they know what they're doing over at oak city so let's talk about how much i've carried this how i've carried it and and how that's all gone because it's about how this carries it's about the sheath right the knife i've already spoken highly of i think it's a very cool little edc fixed blade and carrying it horizontal i especially loved it it was very comfortable um, carrying it in this sheath is definitely different it's a totally different approach to carrying an EDC fixed blade. And I've carried this one in pocket probably five or six times. Only once or twice for an entire day, if I'm being honest. But a few more times it's gone in my pocket for at least a few hours at a time. And I've made a point to sit with it, stand with it, wear it in different pants, different shorts, and just kind of see how it performs for me. And on top of those times which I've carried it, I've also... Ooh, pardon me. I have also put it in the back slip of my fanny pack quite a few times because I like to keep an EDC fixed blade back there, even if I'm not carrying one on my body <laughs> during that day. So this has stayed in my fanny pack quite a bit as well. And it's great. Um, in the fanny pack, honestly, it makes no difference to me whether it's in this sheath or the other Oak City leather sheath. Either way, it's going to take up about the same amount of space in there. It weighs about the same, like, that becomes pretty relevant. But on body, this does feel very different. This sheath is designed to go in a pocket, right? It's pretty clear, it's got a pocket clip on it. That's the way that it goes on you and stays on you. Most sheaths are designed to go on your belt, but this does not. This is really kind of like a leather slip, if you will, that has a pocket clip on it. Now, I've seen a number of people, and people have even recommended to me on a couple of occasions, uh, the like pocket slips with clips on them, the clip slips, if you will, that are for knives that don't have clips on them, like folders, 
traditional knives and such. First of all, I don't really like slip joints, so I'm not typically that into traditional knives. I also really don't like back locks, so other traditional knives kind of out for me. But like, uh, it's been months now, but I checked out like the Benchmade Tengu when that knife came out, and it came with a little leather slip. But that little leather slip didn't have any pocket clip on it. The knife didn't have a pocket clip on it, and I thought it was stupid. It's like, why am I just tossing this thing into my pocket? The future is now. You can have a knife with a pocket clip built onto it that works well, still feels good in hand, keeps the knife right where you want it, makes it easy to draw. Like, it's, it's been the case for a while, right? So the idea of like solving the clipless pocket knife by adding a clip to a leather slip seems to me like just working backwards for no reason because I can just have a, a folding knife with a clip on it. But here we're talking about a fixed blade and a fixed blade always needs a sheath, right? I, I'm not going to carry a fixed blade ever without a sheath. That's not a thing. And so if I have to have a sheath anyways, this is just, if you think about it, a different way to attach the sheath onto my person. So instead of clipping it onto my belt, I'm clipping it onto my pocket. And that to me makes way more sense than like a leather clip slip for a traditional knife. I'm not saying people shouldn't be allowed to like those. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to like overly rain on everyone's parade who's into that kind of thing. If you're, if you like that, more power to you. Have a clip slip. Enjoy it. I just don't get it on folding knives. But this I do. I like this. So in pocket, I have found that this actually does quite well. When I clip this onto most of my pockets, I don't have any problem. Like whether it's been jeans or shorts or whatever, I haven't really had any issues with it retaining on my pocket, staying where it's meant to be, and me being able to just draw the knife out of it. When I very first got this sheath, the first couple times I used it, the sheath was coming out with the knife <laughs> because this clip is not super ultra tight and it's pretty slick underneath it. And so when this was tighter in the sheath, it's kind of worn its path in at this point, but when this was tighter in the sheath, I'd find I'd grab the knife right here because there's not really a spot to push off of comfortably. So I'd grab it and a lot of the time the whole thing <laughs> would just come out of pocket. And then I'd have this to do and then I have to hold this while I use my knife or stick this back in my pocket or whatever it is, right? But now, on really all but one pair of my pants, and I can't really figure out what it is about that pair of pants that makes it happen, um, this stays put. So it just looks like any other knife is clipped in my pocket, basically, and I just grab from right here, and I pull the knife out. This stays in my pocket, right where it is, and it's typically fairly easy to go ahead and just push this right back in when I'm done. And so it's an effective way to carry it in that sense that it works like a sheath should. I draw the knife out of it, the sheath stays where it was, I use the knife, I put the knife back into it. That's what it's meant to do, right? And it does that well. And it's like, it looks nice, it feels nice, and it, it works in that way. Again, I have one pair of pants that for some reason, it's still, it just, the whole thing wants to come out. But even then, when that happens, like, it doesn't ruin it for me because I'm carrying the whole thing anyways, right? Like, it's not the end of the world. I also, I do not carry this as a primary knife because the size of this fixed blade is way too tiny for that. To me, the knives that I carry as like a primary, a front right pocket is where I put my primary knife every day, every time, right? The knives that I carry will be more like this size. Look how tiny this is in comparison, right? This is not a knife that I want to like trust my life to if some emergency comes up. That's what I kind of demand of knives I put in the primary location. And so this is a secondary, which means for me, most of the time I put it back left pocket uh, that's where I put most folders that are secondaries as well. And a few times I've even put it back right pocket and it's kind of worked in that way. And yeah, it's just, it's comfortable to put in any pocket that I've put in within reason. It is still pretty thick at the end of the day when you look at, come on, you look at this profile and a lot of that comes from these thick leather scales that are on here. Um, I believe Oak City offers these same style of sheaths for 
this knife without scales. You can buy it as a bundle and you can get the scales and the hardware for the scales and a sheath just like this. And you can have all this at once, right? Or you can just get a giant mouse GMF1 or GMF1F and you can keep it scaleless the way it comes. So it'll just be skinny little slab of metal, nothing else on it. And you can get one of these that is nice and slim and designed for it to fit without the scales. So there's options there. But for me, in order to make this knife reasonable enough to actually carry and use, I gotta have these scales on it at the end of the day. The idea of taking these back off now is like, no way, it's not happening. It just feels really good with these scales. It fills my hand pretty well. It makes the knife feel more capable and bigger than it is. And uh, yeah, I like it in that way. So I think this is a, a winner of a setup. To me personally, I prefer the horizontal carry sheath and having it on my belt if I had to pick only one because that's just more in line with my preferences. That feels a little bit more comfortable to me than having this sheath in pocket sometimes where it's just like, if it's in my back pocket and I sit on it a little bit, it's like kind of lumpy, right? It's a, this is a large profile to have in my pocket. When you look at the thickness compared to even, this is not a thin <laughs> EDC knife for me, it's way thicker. So you're carrying a fixed blade with a sheath around it. That's gonna be kind of a disadvantage compared to carrying a folder if you're looking for something slim and lightweight. But it's not crazy heavy, it's not crazy thick. It's kind of crazy thick, but it's very smooth. It feels very nice. Everything about it feels really well put together. And uh, again, the finishing work he does on here is just excellent. I'm really impressed with the craftsmanship of his leather work. And uh, yeah, I've liked this a lot. So. I guess that's really all I have to say about it. This is meant to just basically be about the sheath. And again, if I had to pick one, I'd pick the horizontal one, but that's just my preference. I can see why these are really popular. And I see a lot of people getting these and loving these because it works, it works well. It's a good way to make this little fixed blade function kind of like a pocket knife. And not everybody wants a belt sheath. I would also say compared to a vertical belt sheath, I'd rather have this. I don't generally like vertical belt sheaths on fixed blades unless it's an outdoor knife and I'm outdoors with it. <laughs> because I just, the like if I'm standing and sitting a lot, if I'm around the house, I'm out in public, I don't want a fixed blade that's on my body this way. When I carry it horizontal, I find it works for me, but vertical just really doesn't. On a knife this small, it might be okay comparatively, but even then, I'd rather just orient it this way, unless I'm talking about like a bushcrafting knife or just a, a beefy outdoor knife, then vertical is kind of the way it's got to go. But yeah, take that for what it's worth. I like this. It's nice. And uh, I'm going to link down below to Oak City Leather. They did provide this for review and I really appreciate that. And uh, they do great work and they're nice. They're responsive. Uh, they've let me pick options like crazy in like leather colors and thread colors and they're yeah They do a great job and I like their work. So shamelessly they will be linked down below. I think they're worth promoting and uh, Yeah, they're nice over there too, which <laughs> makes a difference So you'll find their links down below check them out on Instagram or on their website if you haven't before and uh, Yeah, thanks for checking it out guys. We'll see you on the next one